In another To The Point first, we have our first kid pro on the show from Dancing With The Stars Juniors. Hey guys. Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk, we talk movies. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome on into the point with Kristen Burt. Just for transparency's sake, I always like to let you guys know this show was pre-taped because right now, as this show is airing, I'm in Philadelphia. But this worked out perfectly because we have our very first Dancing with the Stars Juniors Pro. The, you've already watched the very first episode on Sunday. And we've got him here, Lev Kamelev. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. How I'm, are you? I'm good. I'm so excited to have you here. Thanks. I know. This has been kind of exciting because, you know, I watched you dance this summer, and mm-hmm. now the show has finally aired the first episode and everything. And I, I was saying it felt like a long time bef- by the time you guys wrapped up and then it finally first aired. Did it feel long to you? I mean, when I was, when I, uh, during the show, it felt like a long time because. I just wanted to savor the moment and like because like it's my family and we're like all dance friends and we're just there for uh, I think it was like um, how many one month I think yeah I think taping was like over a month or five weeks or so but you guys had rehearsal a few weeks before that too so you guys probably worked maybe seven or eight weeks or so yeah (laughs) like I know your I know your calendar I was like uh, I'm like I don't know my schedule (laughs) I do clearly (laughs) Uh, so I guess that part was the best part just coming on on set and being with my friends uh, dancing with them but now it's just it it feels like it was just instead of seven weeks seven days yeah it went by very quickly yeah it it just it's just that's it it's over well this show was one of um the highlights of my summer honestly i'm gonna be i'm gonna be super Thank serious you. i really enjoyed going and i think um as people will see as the weeks progress too there's just so many emotions I, there were some weeks i was just bawling my eyes out you guys are such great dancers and <laughs> i was like i wasn't expecting to like go to a show and cry and then be so moved and just so much joy and i think that's what you yeah. guys really delivered in uh the season so you guys should be really proud of that yeah, I guess it, we will be really proud of that, but it's just there's so many emotions and so many things people should experience while it's it's not only adults because it's kids too and these kids c- can cause emotions. I guess th- it would be more emotions because we're like little kids and oh, we're so cute and <laughs> but we're dancing and I mean when anybody gets eliminated it's just like so painful either for the other dancers. I I, I know some other dancers in the show would rather get eliminated than their friends getting eliminated but it was like really sad when anybody else just just doesn't. Yeah, go through. you don't want anyone to go through it, and that's the honest thing. You probably, if you guys could all have, you know, stayed the yeah. full season, you'd be like, this is great, and we can just do one elimination at the end, <laughs> yeah. and someone wins, and we're great. Yeah. Um, I wish that was always the way it worked out yeah. in life, but that's not the way the show works. But I want to go back a little bit, because I remember when the auditions were happening, a couple of social media posts popped up, and we're like, okay, Juniors is like, this is happening. Yeah. What was that audition like? Because we saw a lot of you guys. I know I saw JT in the room, and we saw Riley Arnold. Arnold in the room and Mandy Moore was running the audition. We saw Emma and Sasha in there. Mm -hmm. What was that audition like? So there were definitely a lot of people. I mean, not a lot for like a huge show like this. There were about 50 people, Mm -hmm. 50 I would say, and the there were a lot of ballroom dancers, um, uh, other contemporary dancers too, Mm -hmm. and uh, we would uh, pair up. Uh, they would have because there were not as much boys as girls right so it was more like a one to two ratio it's and, always a case of dance come on <laughs> and so the boys would have two partners and they would have to dance two times that's actually so, good for you because you get to showcase what you can do well yeah and I I was dancing with I was actually partnered up with Michaela that mm-hmm. got onto the troupe and it was like really cool and then I, was, I I came in and then I saw Michaela I'm like you made it that's so cool oh don't you love that when you audition with someone and then you find yeah. out you both got the mm-hmm. job and I think that that's that's so much fun it was a long wait though mm-hmm. this this <laughs> I know that this audition happened and then there were whispers that sometimes you know someone might be cast or not be cast and then I know that there was a long time before you guys officially found out and signed the contracts did yeah. it feel like a long time I guess it was I think it was like 
two weeks wait and I mean I was just sitting there I was just like waiting and I'm, I'm not, I was like so psyched and then uh, and then uh, they said that it made it and I was so happy and I guess it's just like that that's great though yeah. I mean because I think too having the opportunity to do a good audition getting to showcase you know getting to dance twice that's yeah. kind of a good thing because then you can just I can work with this girl I can work yeah. with this girl put me with a celebrity mm -hmm. I'm gonna be able to make this all <laughs> yeah. happen um, so when you found out that your partner was Addison it's Addison Alsta Smith of course yeah. you guys know her season four winner of MasterChef Junior mm -hmm. when you did you know who she was had you watched MasterChef Junior I don't I I, I didn't watch MasterChef <laughs> Junior have you watched it now uh, I actually don't know how to watch it. I mean, I don't have... It must be somewhere online, right? Yeah. I, I, I'm looking for it. Like, right now I'm looking for it. Just, I'm trying to find... Actually, Kyo watched, um, when she was at... I think Kyo watched it. Mm -hmm. And Kyo, like, was, was... It was so funny. Kyo was making fun of her that she was like, Yes, chef, yes, chef, to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> because she made, like, a dish and then... Uh, she won that round. I don't know if it was MasterChef, but I think it might be. I I don't know what it was, but Kyo uh, Kyo watched it and uh, she and he saw her. Uh, he saw her win like it was a, it was round by round, and he was, he saw her win the first round, and then the after that what happened was she picked the next dish uh, for the other people to make, and then she. And, but she had to make her, she had to make another dish. So mm -hmm. she picked, you get this, you get this, you get that, and I get this. So, so Kyo was making fun of her because she picked like the easy one for her or like the good one for her. And then she <laughs> gave the other people the other one. But I mean, Kyo, Kyo is an awesome mentor. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that because I think that that's, you know, the dynamic was so important of having these Dancing with the Stars pros come in and choreograph for you guys and mentor for you. We've had Kyo here. I love him. I love his yeah. energy. And I imagine that worked out great for you guys as a team. Uh, yeah, Kyo's energy is like so big because Kyo was, is super funny. He's like a really funny person, but with Addison there, he, he makes like a joke. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we all laugh like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and then Addison, Addison just takes it up a level and then she would just add on and add on and add on. And then we'd be like, okay, okay, let's dance. And then we would dance and then she'd remember the joke and then add on even more. <laughs> and then we'd be like, okay, Addison, we have to practice. <laughs> How many hours a day were you guys allowed to rehearse? Because you're kids and there are labor laws in California. Yeah, uh, we were allowed to rehearse three hours a day. Three hours a day. Just because we have a lot of fans that watch the show that they'll watch Dancing with the Stars and some, the adults, six to eight hours normally. So yeah. it's a little different, just always mm -hmm. a good to kind of understand that. Now, Addison was not a dancer. She was not someone who would come in with either ballet or jazz training or no ballroom. What was that like trying to teach her? Because you guys did the cha-cha, right? Yes, yeah. uh, we did the cha-cha, but before when we met her, uh, so we were, we, I tried dancing with her, and then Kyo did too, uh, we were like doing a, a little bit of salsa, and then Kyo was like, oh, she, she picked it up, and so we were really excited, and then, and then it got to the first day of practice, and then we did it, and then Addison was like, I, I'm not, I'm, uh, she didn't do, I mean, she didn't do bad that that's really good so she did she did really good for a beginner right yeah it, you so, have to start somewhere yeah <laughs> you uh, obviously i did start somewhere too and addison started at a really good place and she did she did really good and when when we started practicing uh she 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 would like be like oh i'm so good at this and then she it, it, it got to the point where kyo would try to say something and then she she would like read his mind and then just say it in, in, instead of him but but it wasn't actually what he was gonna say <laughs> and it was really funny because addison was like oh i know what you're gonna say and then kyo was like oh what am i gonna say and then she's like blah 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 i'm like and then kyo was like no i was gonna say this and then addison would be like okay but that's kind of like what you wanted to say it's in the general vicinity yeah was she good with choreography because i think that can be a hard thing for people to learn and remember and pick up well 
I, I, um, she wasn't bad with choreography. That's good. Like she, she was, yeah. So she was, she was okay with choreography, but at first, like Keo would, um, Keo would just do one step just like 50 times. So she would, uh, uh, remember it. Yeah. And repetition, repetition. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. And, um, because like practice makes perfect and Addison Addison would just keep doing it keep doing it and keep doing it and Kia would just keep teaching her and teaching her and teaching her and to this day this is the second step that she learned and it was the Cuban breaks and she loves it right now I think it's her favorite step I'm pretty I sure I like that yeah and she now she just does it all the time just uh, you, if you if I go up and meet her I have to say do a Cuban break for yeah, her. She, yeah she just goes, she'll boom, do it on bam. command <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> now obviously we were talking about this a little earlier and I thought it was funny in rehearsal you were saying that she was mouthing the counts yeah uh, didn't realize that <laughs> she was doing it and a lot mm -hmm. of people don't realize that, yeah. that they're doing it it's just something that they're thinking and they're thinking of the steps and what comes next mm -hmm. but she thought it was funny that one of the judges mentioned it to her too yeah so when so when we were dancing she of course before that uh like all all the rehearsal time we were like yeah we kept telling her don't say the counts but but first he was like say the counts out loud say the counts out loud and just like copy what I say yep. so she would just keep saying it keep saying it and she just kept saying it when we it uh, became when, part of the yeah, choreography it, it, just, it, just became, <laughs> yeah, it, it did uh, it became part of her mindset of dancing because after that when we were like telling her just okay so now now you got the timing right and if anything just if Lev will like I will uh, guide you through if you if you forgot something or anything so uh, but Keo would Keo would tell her not to count and but she would still keep counting because it was just like part of her like part of her dancing experience yep and she would just like continue counting all the time and she would just not stop I guess but there were some times that she didn't count unfortunately it wasn't the time <laughs> at the show you're like wait but, a minute <laughs> um because like uh the judges said that uh I think it was Adam that said uh like it's it's like her special recipe and she nobody can know what it is so like that's like the counting and it's her wizardry I yeah. like it <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like it's part of her like little soup that she's gonna make <laughs> like oh add a little bit of chicken add a little bit of like celery five six seven eight <laughs> yeah like five six seven eight one two three four <laughs> and <laughs> and she she would she would kind of expose her secret recipe to the world now so but that's okay yeah it's yeah. okay what i loved the judges yeah. i thought that they were fantastic in giving really good constructive comments very positive it's it was one of my favorite aspects of the show um did you love i mean i loved mandy kind of as the yeah. head judge honestly yeah i think she set the tone really well yes mandy is mandy is really nice but she's uh she's strict she's not she's not too nice and she's not too hard on you but uh, I loved Mandy as a judge. I she she was like really giving good feedback, and she she would just say things that were like that were true. She wouldn't just like be oh you did this when we didn't. Um, she would say the truth, and she she wouldn't be she wouldn't be too hard on you, or she wouldn't be too nice. Yeah, she's not being nice yeah. just to be nice. She's yeah. saying like hey, this was great. Yeah. Here's what you can also work on. Yeah, she was like, this is good, but this was like, this was, you need to do it this better. Yeah, when you get to the rehearsal studio. Yeah. How was she as a choreographer? Because you guys got a lot of opportunities to work with her and her assistant, whom mm -hmm. we love. Morgan Larson was back yeah. there. Robert Roldan was back yeah. there. Like a really great team. Mm -hmm. It was like really, it was a really good team. Uh, I would say Robert, Morgan, and Mandy are like the dream team because uh, because Mandy is uh, such a really good choreographer. Mm -hmm. She would um, so first at first uh, Mandy would um, 
choreograph it and then Robert and Morgan would show it to us as a couple and they would dance it and then after that Mandy would specifically tell people to um, either like point their foot somewhere or like straight their hands and then she she would uh, and then th here's like the really cool thing about Mandy she would ask different people what they would prefer like what kind of hands they would prefer what kind of legs they would prefer and she would just like she she would she would get their like feedback uh, mm -hmm. on the routine and then she would uh, she would uh, say okay I can do this but I can't do this but I could uh, possibly make th make these hands instead of my hands we could kind of do your hands and his hands so it feels yeah. more like a, a collaborative process yeah. you guys feel like a team mm -hmm. yeah definitely we were like a team and just Mandy is really cool. So is Robert and Morgan, and it was really fun. I love that. And Morgan's energy is just out of sight. She's yeah. got so much energy. <laughs> Morgan was like, yeah, 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 I got it. <laughs> we love her. Everything's rad, too. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Now, of course, the first episode is aired, so we do know the outcome of this. How yeah. did Addison handle the elimination? Well, I guess... Addison, Addison was really, what she was upbeat the whole entire time, and she she was like, she was like she, when when we we decided, well I mean we didn't decide, I mean when when we were standing on the platform and like, she she was like holding my hand and Kia was there with us. She was like, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be good. It's okay if even if we get eliminated, even if we go through, anything is really good because this show just has done a lot of cool things for us. What a good attitude! Yeah. I love this, and I, you know it's funny because we hear a lot of feedback, and I've heard a lot a lot of this on social media from adults who were saying. We're so concerned that all these kids are going to be so devastated that they get eliminated. Yeah. But I was like, I think kids handle it better than adults do, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think you guys are able to process, like, this is just a really fun experience. Yeah. It's like summer camp. It looks like you guys all went to dance camp. <laughs> yeah, because it was, like, for the adults, adults are like, okay, so this is a competition. We do this, we do this, we win, or we get eliminated. The kids were like, oh, we're having so much fun. Mm -hmm. It's like, and even if if the... If we get eliminated, the fun is never going to stop because we're still dancing. We're still having fun. We, we still see our partners again at the end of the show. And we're going to have, it's going to be such a cool time. And it's like, we're going to dance camp. We're going to, uh, we're going to the Dancing with the Stars camp. And it's really fun. I wanted to go. I kind of was a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> a minute. Like they put the press, they put us up in the balcony. Yeah. Um, so I was always like, I want to be down there. The stage is really cool too. Yeah. I, people. I don't know if they've seen the full stage yet. I guess you have if you watch the first episode, but I love the star shape, the yeah. way they did it, the way that it's raised up. Mm -hmm. It just gave a new dynamic to the ballroom compared mm -hmm. to what they have now. Yeah. And because because it's a star, it's it's like it's it 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 separates the adult show from the kids show. Because the kids show, it's like more about fun. Oh, we're like stars. We're so cool. And Colorful. Yeah, yeah. And it was like all like it has a bunch of colors and it was really cool. And plus we get to dance on a giant star. I never thought I would say it in my life, but I love dancing on giant stars. All right, he was just showing, that was actually Dancing with the Stars, not Dancing with the Stars Juniors, just to point that out. But that was you guys dancing um, just a few weeks ago yeah. on the show, mm -hmm. so which is super exciting. All the junior pros that they, um, that was your introduction. We'll, uh, we'll run that again, just so, but just for, to clarify, that was Dancing with the Stars versus Dancing with the Stars Juniors. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what was it like dancing on this show versus Juniors? Did it feel different? Did it feel bigger? Well, of course. It was it live. Was, it was live. <laughs> so, I mean, it was it was different, much different, uh, because it's it's a different... It, first of all, what we were just saying, it is a different stage, and it's more of like... It's more of a like a wide stage uh, mm -hmm. versus a star because like in the star you have like you could go here's like the middle part you could go forward you could go left you could go right and you could go uh, back and back uh, here you could just go like anywhere right and that's like what 
uh, Mandy did. So we could like be here, and then we had this information where we uh, did like a whole dance together, and um, it was like. It you can like create a, different yeah. configurations compared to dancing mm -hmm. with the stars because yeah. it's a long ballroom. Um, one thing I want to point out, too, that I thought was awesome, Addison has now t started taking dance classes, hasn't yeah. she? Yeah. So Addison just started taking dance classes. I'm really proud of her. She was put on the dance team. And, yeah. So, at school or? Uh, I don't know. I, or um, maybe at her, her dance school or whatever? I think so. So we came uh, when we came back for the um, – uh, for the Dancing with the Stars, the live one. Yep. And we came back, and then she was like, guys, I, I was like, eh. and then um, Keo and I were like, what happened? And then she was like, oh, my God, I made it on my dance team. We're like, really? That's so cool. And uh, you guys are a part of that. Yeah, because uh, it wouldn't be just, oh, I did the show, I danced a little bit, that's it. it. It just, like, it keeps going on, and just, like, the dance spirit. I, I love that. And you guys sort of like kicked off her, yeah. her little career in dance, whatever <laughs> yeah. it is, whether it's just for fun or whether it takes her somewhere else. You, you never mm -hmm. know. You never know. You never know. And that's what I adore about Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. And I think Juniors is going to bring a whole bunch yeah. uh, of that to other kids. You know, some of these kids that come from different backgrounds and uh, they might add a little more dance to their life. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think a lot of people realize this, but you were in Russia this week. So I was. I, I, when you walked in, I'm like, how jet lagged are you? You just got back yesterday. Yeah, I just got back yesterday, like at 2 p.m. Yes. Yeah, so you were there with Elena, and a lot of people know Elena, of course, yeah. Glimpse of Chinko's wife, but she's also your coach. Yeah. Yes. She is my she's coach. She's strict. She, um, she, you see, she, she's like Mandy, but she's a little bit more strict. But She's strict. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've watched her teach lessons. Like a little. But yeah. I love her, it, though. She, she's, uh, she's a really good teacher i i love her when she teaches me she um she like gives me re really good she she's okay so <laughs> she she her lessons are like okay so let me see your dance and let me see what i can fix mm -hmm. let me see what i can fix let me see what i can add Lena is a really good choreographer too. She's creating layers. Yes. And we saw her on So You Think You Can Dance choreographing. Yeah. And she killed it this she, season. She was really good. And she actually, so yeah, she choreographed um, a dance there. And it was really cool. I loved it. I was watching it and uh, the judges were standing up. It was like a standing ovation. So mm -hmm. I props to her. Props to her. Well, tell us what you were doing in Russia because you were appearing on a TV show there, yeah. correct? Yeah. So what was the TV show about? Is it is it a talent show like we have here in the US? It's a talent show. It's it's uh it's a talent but show but like for kids. It's it's kind of like little big shots but it's like a competition. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how did you do? <laughs> I guess well there there were let me start off with this. There were a lot a lot of talented kids there. Yeah. Um but I don't know yet. This was, like, so there's this show, and there's, like, the final. Okay. So uh, the kids there, two kids made it to the final. It wasn't me. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know. I, I They're, like, uh, audience votes, and the audience might vote for me. I don't know yet. And which will bring you to the finals, and yes. you'd have to go back. Yeah, I'd have to go back, and then I'd have to do a, another number there, and then somebody would win. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, you you were I loved watching this going back to So You Think You Can Dance, The Next Generation, season 13, of course, mm -hmm. because we know that you were on Team Jenna. Yeah. Yes. Um, but going back and watching how tiny you were, you were 10. Oh, my God. <laughs> you were so tiny and cute. <laughs> yeah. But you were talking about you were born in France. You lived in Russia. How old were you when you came to the U.S.? I actually didn't live in Russia. You didn't, but no. you did. Did you go to Russia or you're Russian? Is that how it was described? Uh, yeah, my family is Russian. Russian, I, but you're born in France. I was born in France. I actually this like for this show. I uh, I think we went there for four days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for four days. <laughs> You've been to Russia for four days. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like the second time I've been to Russia. Okay, <laughs> because the first time I've been to Russia, I've been there for, I mean, l less than a month. Okay. So a little less than a month, but uh, I, st I, I mean, what I think it is is that 
I I was I mean I was born in France. I lived there for like a year or so. Then I moved to Czech Republic. Oh. Yeah. So I was I lived in Czech Republic, and then I moved to America. So in Amer when I moved to America, I was five years old. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. How many languages do you speak? So I speak I speak two languages fluently: mm -hmm. Russian and English. Mm -hmm. And I used to speak Czech or, uh, Czech mm -hmm. uh, fluently, but. I kind of forgot it. You lose it. A, li a little yeah, bit when you're not there. Yeah, I forgot it. So I guess the best way to learn a language is, of course, to be in the environment with the people that are know the language. Of course, yeah. absolutely. And uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you are done with high school. You are in college yeah, officially. Yeah, I'm actually in <laughs> Remind college. Remind everyone that you're in college, yes. Yeah. Are you a freshman or a sophomore? I'm, f I'm a freshman in college. So and I, you are? Yeah. 12, almost 13. Yes. I'm actually turning 13 next week. Yay, yeah. happy birthday. So, thanks. Uh, uh, I, I, so there's this thing called the CHESPI. Uh, it's the California High School Proficiency Exam. Almost couldn't say that right there. You got it, though, and you passed it. <laughs> yeah, I passed it. So there are, like, four steps or... Yeah, four. So there, you have to write an essay, uh, um, English, and I mean, yeah, English, another English, and math. So okay. two English, a math, and uh, and an essay. And then an essay. Yeah. Um, so are you taking classes, or are you doing online classes I'm, with college? I'm taking online classes. Online. So I didn't know if you were sitting in a classroom now with a bunch of no. twenty year olds. <laughs> No. And they're like, oh my gosh, oh my we have God, an almost 13 year old. Doing here? What's he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> How's college going so far? It's going good. Uh, I'm almost done with my first semester. What classes are you taking? I am taking political science Ooh. and I am taking uh, English 101. Fantastic. Those yeah. are great courses. And here's what I also um, want to just point out to a lot of people, and they may not realize, especially we live in the entertainment industry here in L.A., this is kind of important when it comes for you, when it comes to working, because yeah. you don't have to have an on-set teacher. Yeah, I don't have to have a teacher, and I could I could work, like... Longer hours. Longer hours, yeah. Makes you more employable. Yes. Yes, <laughs> it's a good thing. It's, it yeah. is a good thing. Um, and uh, so a lot of people are always asking you about, like, the child labor laws and everything else. I always have a lot of questions. So I was like, this is a good moment to kind of, like, yeah. point out something like that. Because I think it's kind of interesting when you mm -hmm. get the inside scoop on something like that. Um, you know, I, so many of you were working on So You Think You Can Dance and then came forward to Dancing with the Stars Juniors. What does that mean to you guys? Because I think um, some people didn't love the concept with So You Think You Can Dance, and I believe that yeah. Juniors is a better developed concept of what So You Think was doing. And I love that no matter how you feel about season 13, look who we discovered. I yeah. mean, so many of you guys either auditioned, made it to the Academy, some made it onto mm -hmm. the live shows. It's incredible. Yeah, it was a really big stepping stone for like anybody's career, um, and because because of this, uh, I guess it it, it might be uh, oh, little I'm, baby. Yeah, I'm right <laughs> little there. baby yeah. love. <clears throat> that was little baby me. Uh, yeah, uh, as you could see, uh, I'm I was auditioning and um, I I got tickets. Uh, everyone uh, give me a ticket. Um, uh, Jason, Paula, and Nigel gave me the tickets to the academy. Yeah, yep. to the academy. And when I made it to the academy, it was I, I was really nervous because there were a lot of good dancers there. Mm -hmm. And what I uh, I guess so it's Dancing with the Stars Juniors is is it's a really good concept for the show because there there are kids. Uh, partnered up with other kids that are um, that are professionally uh, mentored by a uh, other adults. Yeah, and yeah. I think that the audience, like the the dance audience, a lot of us were already familiar with yeah. many of you. Yeah, and I think that that is what was exciting when I saw the cast list. I was like, mm -hmm. well, this is great. Like, yeah. we we know Lev and we mm -hmm. know JT and a lot of people knew yeah. Sage, and I think that that is is. Um, Archie on it too. You know, we don't want to forget some yes. of these kids come from America's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. um, so for a lot of us, we're like, this is amazing because we know that these pairings are going to be good yeah. for the entire season. So yeah, because it's it's just it's just really cool to see other people they already saw in other places. You you there's uh there's a little difference with new faces and 
old faces because yeah. like if you see a new face you don't really know them yet i guess you you're just like oh like maybe he's good maybe he isn't or maybe she's good maybe she gets another personality yeah. Be, but uh before like on so you think you could dance if you could see them there uh it, it was like really cool uh for other people to see uh who they were and i guess uh so you think you could dance like did a really good job of describing the kids' personalities and just um, they had a good eye for introduce, talent. Introducing them to the audience, yeah, a really good eye for talent. And you know, even people who aren't on juniors, they're out, they're still out there working and things like that. I mean, Kita, who mm -hmm. won, so you think, yeah, that season, it has like I don't know, five million followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. He's got a new show coming up on Nickelodeon, so it's just a lot of exciting things. And I, it makes me really happy to see you guys, you know, out there and uh, really doing a great job. What are your goals? I mean, you're so young, you're in college. <laughs> You know, you're killing it. You're on a network show. What are your dance goals? Bigger goals in acting, too? Uh, well, <clears throat> of course, I do want to be a world champion. That'd be yes. really awesome. I, I go to dance competitions, and there's actually a dance competition coming up called Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Hollywood Dance Sport, and I'm actually going to be there. So if anyone wants to come, who is your partner? Because you have a new partner, don't yeah. you? Yes. Yeah, uh, her name is Michelle. Okay. Yeah, uh, so we just started dancing together. How's it going? It's going really good. Thank good, you. Good, good. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm I'm excited to see you and your new partner dance. Oh, thank you. I know, because it's yeah. always exciting when you have a new partner and you see the possibilities mm -hmm. of where you guys can go. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm excited too to dance with her. And uh, I guess we'll see the results. And uh, another, another goal of mine is probably to, to share with other people what dancing is like. So other people could start dancing and not just think it's like, oh, that's that's weird. It's like, oh, it's for girls. Oh, it's like, um, I don't like it. Oh, I don't want to watch that. Oh, let's just watch something else. You talked yeah. about that. And so you think it. you were like, I was teased at school yeah. by some of the guys. Yeah, because like uh, there was a school talent show and uh, the other kids were like oh you have a, like a girl costume and you're going to dance like you're going to hold hands with a girl oh my god i was like what did you ever hold hands with a girl before are you on national tv <laughs> exactly <laughs> are you on abc huh? <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> i know and you know i always hope that that stigma with boys and dance goes away but i feel like it's getting better a lot of boys will go and at least do hip hop and i know you're a good little hip hop dancer Thank you. Uh, but I feel like sometimes with ballet, ballroom, I think it happens in, in figure skating to, to yeah. men too. And I'm like, those stigmas need to just go away. It's you. You guys are athletes. It's like it's different because hip hop is more like ba ba. It's it's like I guess because um, even even like even when when uh, girls do hip hop, uh, people are okay with it too. Totally fine. Yeah, when boys and girls do hip hop, it's like oh that's so cool. Like even when they do it together, that's good. That's like really cool. But uh, when like boys do ballroom, I guess it's better now because there's so many TV shows that include ballroom, and people are getting to know it more, and mm -hmm. people are getting to see how cool it is, how strong you guys yeah, are, and how how just how amazing ballroom is when you when you start learning it. I love that. And mm -hmm. you, do you want to go to Blackpool? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of my first dream. It relates to that, and uh, so I mean first goal it's like my first goal um i do want to win and i want to be the world champion that's gonna be really really cool you're gonna do it and thanks <laughs> uh uh blackpool is so for people that don't know blackpool blackpool is a national not a national a world dance competition where people come and um, dance and there are a lot a lot of dances a lot of heats uh, heat is a, a dance and uh, a heat is a number of, uh, is an amount of dances where people uh, where uh, two people partners uh, dance together and it's it's there are championships and there are single dances championships are usually more hard because other people are in there mm -hmm. and single dances there there are less people 
yep. there. And single dances are just is just one dance. Like you dance one dance and you get a place for that one dance. Right. In championships, there you dance uh, three, four, or five dances and you get an overall score. Uh, it's competitive, and yeah. it's in the most gorgeous location. Yeah. Yes, at the ballroom mm -hmm. there is just stunning, and everyone dresses up very elegantly yes. too, which is even better. Mm -hmm. So, well, believe it or not, we are out of time. Wow. <laughs> I know it that... went by quickly. I told you it was <laughs> yeah. going to go quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but for people who want to follow you on social media, especially now that you've been my first guest from Dance with the Stars <laughs> Juniors, let everyone know you can talk right into that camera where they can find you. Okay, you can find me on Instagram at it's me love. That's super easy. Yeah, it's me love. It's me and love. <laughs> I love it. And um, hopefully we will. There'll be a season two for juniors. We don't know yet, but yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I feel like it I should be. A, I feel like it'd be a really fun summer show too. But... I feel like it would. Yes, and yeah. live. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. If we ran the world. Yes, if we <laughs> ran ABC. We mm -hmm. don't make those decisions, yeah. though. But in the meantime, we're going to enjoy mm -hmm. all of season one. And we just want to thank you so much for joining us. You've been a total thank delight. Thank you very and it's been much. so much fun watching you over like the last couple years like grow yeah. and just go out there killing yeah. the dance game. Thank you. You bet. I'm really happy to be here on the show. Thank right. you. Thanks, Lev. Thanks. All right, you guys, we will be back next Tuesday. That is October 16th, and we have a return guest. We have Miss Val, if you know UCLA Gymnastics. That is Valerie Condos Field. She's coming in to talk about her brand new book. We are so excited to have her back and go and read it ahead of time. It is available on Amazon right now. We want to thank Popcorn Talk and Dance Network for hosting. And, of course, for all of your dance news, visit dancenetwork.tv. We'll see you next week. From producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire Popcorn Talk Network, we would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit popcorntalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only. They do not necessarily reflect the views of the Popcorn Talk Network or its owners or principals.